Hello YouTube and everyone watching, this is John back again with another product review. As you can see before me, I have the whole lineup of the new Lay's chips, the Flavor Icon Edition. All five of these flavors are based on items that you can purchase at five different restaurants across the United States. Let's go ahead and start opening them one by one. This video will contain my review for all five flavors. Here we go. We're going to go ahead and start with the chili relleno flavored Lay's chips. Now, all my other bags are large size. I was only able to find this in the small one. In actuality, I would have rather had them all in the small one. But anyway, I digress. Let's start out with Lay's chili relleno. These are from a restaurant known as Cochina Azul. Um, I think that means Blue Kitchen. And this is from a restaurant in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Um, they actually have three locations. And they are all in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And the Chili Reno. You can see the picture there. It is a battered, fried, and stuffed pepper. On their website, they describe it as a full-stem New Mexico whole green chili. And they have four types on their menu. They have a cheese one, a brisket one, a pork one, and a chicken one. This one, if you look at the picture, it just looks like cheese. I don't see any meat in the picture. Um, in the ingredients, it does mention chicken fat as an ingredient. Um, each one of these, the ingredients is basically regular potato chip ingredients, and then each one has a seasoning blend, and they're, they're named after what they are. So this one is the chili relleno seasoning. Um, the main ingredients I pulled out of here are cheddar cheese, onion powder, green bell pepper, brown sugar, garlic powder, buttermilk, sour cream, and chicken fat. So, um, I'm guessing this is going to rely on any type of more like a spice to make it taste more peppery, because this is saying green bell pepper, whereas the restaurant describes it as a New Mexico whole green chili, which I imagine is spicier than a green bell pepper. Um, if you look at the picture here, and then you can go to like Yelp and look at their gallery, their chili rellenos don't look anything like this picture. This has a little bit of green chili and cheese on top. On their plates, it's like completely covered in a plate with either a red sauce or a green sauce, and it's just doused in it. I didn't see any pictures on Yelp that look like this. They're all covered in sauce. So the picture's off. Let's see what it smells like. Well, doesn't really have that much of a smell to it besides potato. Let's go ahead and grab one. See it has green specks on it. That's probably so you think of uh, the green chili. Let's give it a taste. I can detect the faintest bit of heat in this, but like I would, I would give this these chips to a, a three-year-old. They're not spicy at all; just the mildest of hint of any type of spice. These are like 
the mildest of sour cream and onion chips. Like, I can taste some garlicky onion in it. This. I can taste a little bit of like a tang of sour cream in there. And I take, taste the slightest bit of pepperiness in there. But, uh, if these chips were supposed to make me want to go to this restaurant and try it out, that's not what it did. Um, it doesn't taste like chili rellenos. I've had a chili relleno before, not from this place. Um, I can say not very accurate, and so far this chip is kind of bland in my opinion. That one was also a uh, Walmart and 7-Eleven exclusive. You can only get that flavor at that place. Though I've heard people say they found it at random gas stations. The restaurant has a four and a half out of five stars on Yelp, so I imagine their food is really good. Next up, we're going to go with the the wavy variety. You know, every time I do these flavor things, they always have at least one wavy and one kettle. So this is the wavy. It is carnitas, carnitas street tacos from El Toro. And this is from Marina Del Rey in California. They have, I believe, 30 locations, El Torito. They're all in California. I actually had to look pretty hard in their menu to find the Carnitas Street Tacos. So they have plenty of different types of tacos and burritos and fajitas. But the Carnitas, the Carnitas Street Tacos is like combined in their menu. It just says street taco, and then you have the option of getting chicken, carnitas, um, or steak at an extra cost. But uh, I've had plenty of carnitas tacos. Um, here in Chicago, there's a location in Pilsen called Carnitas Yarapan, which is one of my favorite places to get tacos from. Their carnitas are amazing. But... Uh, and I've also actually made carnitas at home using a, a copycat recipe from them, which turned out amazing. Basically kind of just like boil pork shoulder in pork fat and other ingredients. Um, but this one, the seasoning, the carnitas street taco seasoning consists of salt, sugar, onion powder, yeast, garlic powder, spices, jalapeno pepper, uh, cream, whey, bacon fat, cheddar cheese, Swiss cheese, and paprika. Um, so, I suppose they're getting their porky carnitas flavor from the bacon fat. But the fact that it contains cheddar cheese and Swiss cheese kind of throws me off. I've never been offered cheddar cheese or swiss cheese with my carnitas tacos uh, if there's any cheese it's like that like fresh white uh, crumbly fresco type cheese that you get from uh, a more authentic uh mexican restaurant i think uh your pan is a mexican district but why why two different cheeses why why cheddar and swiss doesn't make any sense but uh Looking at the pictures on their Yelp compared to their pictures of what a Carnita Street Taco is, way different. Uh, the pictures on their Yelp look more like what I've seen in like authentic Carnitas. Whereas this, you could look at that, it has so much other stuff in it besides the Carnitas. Carnitas tacos are first and foremost Carnitas. So let's see, does it taste like carnitas? It should have a nice porky flavor as well. They do have like a very uh, smoky porky smell to them. Here's the waviness. You can see there's some green bits in it. The flavor on these is way better than the chili rellenos. Does it taste like a carnitas taco? 
No. It does take porky, but it tastes porky in a bacony way, where it's more of a, a smoky, cured type flavor. Instead of like, a carnitas has like this rich, meaty flavor, whereas this has a more smoky, cured, bacony flavor. And you get like a weird tanginess to it, which I think comes from the, the cream and the cheeses. Which, if you've had like really good, authentic carnitas tacos, they don't really typically put cheese on it or a ton of cheese on it. So, does it taste like a carnitas taco? No. It tastes like a nice, cheesy, bacony taco. And it's good, it's just not what it says it's supposed to be. El Torito on Yelp had a three and a half star rating. And that seemed to be right around what all their locations were as well. Next up, we're going to take a trip to Philadelphia for the Philly cheesesteak. This is inspired by the Gino Steaks. Uh, you can see their picture right there. On their website, their steaks look like this. Like all the pictures of their steak looks like that on their website. Um, if you look at their Yelp, the... Uh, See how much cheese is coming out of this sandwich? None of the Yelp pictures looked like they had that much cheese on it. There's cheese on them. You can see it. But it doesn't look like that. What's in the Philly cheesesteak seasoning? We have a natural flavor, which contains beef. So there you go. The beef and the steak's already there. Cheddar cheese. That's the next ingredient. Onion powder. Onions come on it. Uh, brown sugar, whey, spice, yeast, sugar, buttermilk, caramel color, paprika. Okay. Well, like the top three ingredients in that spice were beef, cheese, onion. And that's what you want this to taste like. So let's taste it. We have a nice cheesy, beefy smell and flavor. It does kind of taste like that. It was a cheddar and sour cream chips, smell-wise, anyway. Here you go. It does have a nice orangey-ness to it. There's some little dark bits in here. Good taste. Oh. Definitely get this cheesy... And this caramelized onion flavor. Like you can taste those sizzling onions. Mm. These ones are good. I've never been to Philadelphia. I've never had Gino's steaks. I've had cheesesteaks from places local here in the Chicago area. But uh, the cheesiness and the, the grilled onioniness, it tastes like there was uh, beef cooked and then onions were put on top of the, all those beef juices, soaked all of them in. And you just turn that into a, a seasoning somehow. That's what these taste like. So far, the first three, this one tastes the most like what it says on the package. It tastes like what you expect from a Philly cheese. Beef, cheese, onion. That's what's in here. That's what it tastes like. My favorite so far. Um, if you go to... Now, Gino's only has the one location. And it only has two and a half stars on Yelp. I don't know if that's because, you know, Gino's and I think it's Pat's is the other one. They have like a back and forth. Either you like one or the other. So maybe you got a lot of Pat's haters in the Gino's Yelp bringing their score down. But uh, I'll tell you what, first time I ever go to Philadelphia, I'm definitely going to have at least one sandwich at each place.
Next up, we're going to go with the kettle cooked New York style pizza flavored. And this is from Grimaldi's Coal Brick Oven Pizzeria, inspired by Grimaldi's in Brooklyn, New York. Now this, of course, is the kettle cooked variety. It's going to be a little more firmer, more crispy. Uh, interestingly enough, even though this is called New York Pizza, it says from Grimaldi's in Brooklyn. Grimaldi's has 30 locations that I was able to count. One of them is in the state of New York. This one in Brooklyn. They're scattered all over the United States, with the most actually being in Texas. 16 of the 30 are in Texas. A lot around the Dallas-Fort Worth area. So to say, like, this is inspired by Grimaldi's from Brooklyn, and sure, there is a Grimaldi's in Brooklyn, but that's kind of like saying, like, this is inspired by McDonald's in whatever town your McDonald's is from. Let's go ahead and read the ingredients. The New York style pizza seasoning has salt, tomato powder, whey, skim milk, mozzarella cheese, spices, extra virgin olive oil, natural flavors, sugar, garlic, parmesan cheese, onion powder, cheddar cheese, um, yeast, buttermilk, citric acid, paprika, extracts. This is anything about basil, but that could be in the natural flavors or in the uh, spices that it doesn't mention. Here's a picture of what it looks like on the bag. Um, that kind of looks like the picture that's on their website. It doesn't look anything like the pictures from their their Yelp, and I'm looking at the pictures from their specifically Brooklyn location. Uh, this one looks like they have like fresh basil on it, where it looks like they actually cook the basil on it when you get it from there. So they look more shriveled and blackened, not fresh and green like this. Let's open it up. I'm expecting to smell a, a tomato-y with some, hopefully, basil notes. Definitely very tomato-y. It has a, a rich orangey red color to it. One thing I was curious about I believe it was last year or the year before they did um, deep dish pizza from Chicago. I believe they inspired it from Giordano's, which is probably the last deep dish Chicago pizza place that I would go to for order. Um, I wonder how New Yorkers feel about this representing their New York style pizza. The smell is very tomatoey. The taste is very tomatoey. Sometimes I get hints of like a cheesiness in there, but the, the biggest flavor you get out of this is tomato. It's like a, it's like one, it tastes like someone ladled some of that fresh tomato sauce that they would regularly put on the pizza and just poured it over these chips. I would say when it comes to authentic flavor, this probably tastes pretty good compared to what it's supposed to taste like. As I'm chewing it, I kind of get more of the flavors of the spices. A little bit of onioniness, a little bit of garlickiness, a little bit of maybe basil. I wish they had a, a heavier smell or flavor of basil in this, but it's not bad. It's probably... When it comes to closeness to what it tastes like, my second favorite.
of all these. Moving on to the final one. I saved this for last just because it's spicy, so I didn't want to ruin my uh, taste buds for anything else. This is Nashville Hot Chicken flavored, um, inspired by Party Fowl, Nashville, Tennessee. They have three locations, two, I don't know, I think four locations, two which are in Nashville, one's in Murfreesboro, and I forget where the last one was. But the ingredients in the Nashville Hot Chicken seasoning are salt, natural flavors, which include bacon fat, spices, sugar, onion powder, chicken fat, yeast, buttermilk, garlic, and cooked chicken powder. It was bacon fat, chicken fat, and cooked chicken powder. So, I imagine there should be a, a really good chicken flavor in here. It wasn't specific on what spices are, are, are in here. Um, if you go to their website, they have four levels of, of heat, and the one they call Nashville Hot is number three. They have one that's spicier than this and two more mild. So I'm hoping this has some heat to it. If you look at the picture here, um, this doesn't look exactly like what they have on their website or on their Yelp. Um, it kind of has the same thing because it is like a slice of bread, chicken on top, but the pickles are usually, they have like these logoed uh, big toothpick spear kind of things. They're speared through pickles, through the chicken, through the bread to hold everything together. Um, and going back to everything I was saying before, the Grimaldi's was a three and a half star on Yelp. Party Files a four star on Yelp. They smell chickeny. Oh, there's a little bit of spice in there. There's definitely some smoky heat coming out of there. Could it be hotter? Definitely. But I think they wanted us to reach more of a wide audience, as typical large brands do when they make a general spicy flavor. They don't want to make it too much. Um, you definitely get chicken flavor out of this. You definitely get a smoky heat flavor out of this. I think when you put those two together, relatively speaking, um, it does taste like hot chicken. The bacon fat, though, is recognizable. I think that adds to like the smokiness of it. I would say this is definitely in the top three of what I got so far. When it comes to flavor and tasting like what it's supposed to. I would have loved for this to be a little bit more spicy. Get rid of the bacon fat. Just do the chicken fat and the chicken powder. I think, uh, I don't know, for my for my taste, that kind of distracts. Because I don't really think of a porky flavor for hot chicken. And I know, like, part of when you make hot chicken is the spices get mixed into a fat. I don't know if that is a, a lard or a pork-based fat. Um, but I'm sure you could do with schmaltz and chicken grease, which would make this uh, more suitable for um, Muslim and the Jews who can't have pork products. So you're kind of limiting your audience there. Um, but it tastes fine. It's good. So if I'm going to go back through everything and say which ones I like the best, which ones are more flavored like what they say, Number one is the Philly cheesecake from Gino's. Smells cheesy. And that beefy caramelized onion flavor and the cheese, it's all there. This one both tastes the best and tastes most like what it's supposed to taste like. 
Number two. I'm going to go with this Nashville hot chicken. It uh, definitely has a chickeny flavor, and it's definitely spicy. That's why it's my second favorite out of two. Although, my number three is this. The kettle cooked New York style from Grimaldi's. It's heavy tomato, a little spice, a little cheese. I do think when it comes to tasting like what it's supposed to, it's probably better than the Nashville hot chicken. I think that baconiness from that one kind of pushes me away from thinking Nashville hot chicken. Whereas like all the flavor in here, I would expect to taste on the pizza itself. But I like the flavor of the hot chicken one better. Number four is the Carnitas Wavy Street Tacos. To me, it just tastes like bacon cheese. Which is not what I expect from a Carnitas Taco. It tastes good though. And last, the Chili Rieno Lay's Chips. Not much spell to it. Not much flavor to it. And the smell and flavor that I do get it tastes more like light sour cream and onion plus a light jalapeno or light spiciness to it. Definitely doesn't taste very cheesy or very peppery at all. And it would be the only one that I would say, out of these five, it would be the only one that I probably wouldn't like specifically want or order or want to buy again. Probably not going to buy any of these again anyway, but I'm just saying for your purposes who may not have purchased these yet, it's probably the one that you can skip. Um, but the Philly cheesesteak one, if you're only going to try one, try that one. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video of me reviewing these new Lay's flavors. Uh, let me know in the comments if you've tasted the name before. We'll give, uh, give me an idea for next year. Because I think this is the second year in a row they've done like uh, regional flavors that are attached to restaurants. Um, I think last year they only did a couple of their flavors attached to restaurants, whereas this year they did all of them attached to restaurants. So give me an idea for a restaurant that's near you, maybe it's local to you, um, that sells something that's a local flavor to you. And let's see, like, could they possibly put that on a chip or not? And it should it be a regular chip, a wavy chip, or a kettle chip? Um, to me, those things really haven't mattered much to me when it comes to flavor or authenticness to what it's supposed to taste like. But maybe in the future they will. Who knows? Anyway, I hope you liked this video. Give a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel. Keep watching. Until next time. Bye.